I can say identifying with Jesus Christ in totality. This message came to me this morning after I had a prayer session with the apostles. I raised a prayer point. Those who said today, I'll be pondering about the, the occurring decima. I put to my, my apostle, Apostle Peace. Something that will be occurring, coming up again and again and again. So I really pondered about it. So this morning, as I was with the apostles, I read it as a prayer point. So after we close, as I was meditating, the Spirit of God said to me, He said, Remember the contract I have with you. Hmm. I said, Yes, I remember. He said, Remember that I told you, you are to work. I know how to pay you. Your mm. own is to work for me. Even though I love to pay you or not, it's not your business. Your own is to work. Mm. So, are you still ready to work or you are backing out? Say, Daddy, I am ready to work till I die. Say, so, mm. therefore, therefore, don't ever, ever, ever let me hear you saying those words you are saying today. Go back and start working. You had a contract with me. Money or no money, food or no food, your own is to work. Amen. I am God. I know when to pay you. I know when to try you. I know when to do whatever I am doing. Work for eternity, this boy. Amen. Work for eternity, this boy. I say, Daddy, I hear you. Daddy, I will not come. He said, Don't stop there. I search the heart of men. To you, mm. you were not complaining. To you, you were not complaining. I'm saying this so that pastors are there that God does not speak to, they will learn. To you, you were not complaining. But to me that hired you, you were complaining to my ear. I said, Lord, I am sorry. That's right. I thought I was saying the right thing. To me, I don't thought, I, I never knew I was complaining. I was only thinking, why should it be so? So now I'm telling you to my ear, you were complaining. You are to work. And I do the payment. Mm -hmm. I know how and when to pay you. Hmm. And I said, Daddy, I'm sorry. And as I was still Talking to my daddy, I hear the women that are praying somewhere raise this prayer point that also concern what myself and my father were saying, saying the other. And as I went to Facebook again, the BOL of this morning still relate to it. I said, Wow, oh, Papa, you love me so much. Daddy, I'm really a joy to you. Now, he said, my son, go to Matthew chapter 4, 17 to 22. I read, from that time, Jesus began to preach and say, and to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus, 18, and Jesus walking by the sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. 19. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men, fishers of souls, fishers of life, fishers of people. And they stretch away. When I got, he said, do you hear that? Say, and they 
they straight away let their net, let their source of income, let what they are using to feed themselves, what they would have used to buy houses, what they would have used to, to, to make money, they left it and follow him. Amen. They left everything. They left the boat, they left the net, they left the fishes, everything and follow him. Without complaining. Amen. Without asking him, what do we eat as we are following you? They did not see khaki in his hand. They did not see things in his hand. But yet, they follow him. Amen. And he said to me, say, my son, are you ready to identify with me in totality? Just as Paul as his brother, I mean, Peter, as his brother did, I say, yes, daddy, I am ready. Say, now, follow me. And going, verse 21, and going on from things, he saw other two brethren, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in a ship with Zebedee, their father, minding their nets, and he called them. And they immediately left their father, left their boats, left the fish, left everything, left the sheep, and they follow him. No Amen. minding what will happen next. No caring about their life anymore. Daddy, we are going. Fish and all, we are leaving you behind. That we may go and fish men with this man. We saw something better than fish in this man. We saw something better than euro and pounds in this man. We are seeing something better than houses in this man. We are Amen. seeing something that joins the whole house all over the world together. He cannot buy a tip of what this man is having. So, Daddy, Amen. we are following this man. There's a better life in this man. Amen. And he said to me, my son, do you see that? I say, yes, I see it. Say, follow me now. And, say, and he called them. And they immediately left sheep and their father and follow him. Verse 22. Are you ready to lead that thing now and follow Christ? Are you ready to stop complaining? Just the same way he told me, me Are you ready to abandon that thing you think is giving you life and follow the true life? There's no life in that thing you are cherishing. That thing that is stopping you from serving God. That thing that you are looking at now. Say, because of this thing, I cannot serve God. That thing is killing you. That thing is taking life from you. That thing is taking destiny out of you. But to you, you might think that thing is making you to, to end your life. Now, Luke chapter 5, 27. And after these things, he went forth and saw a publican, a tax collector, a secretary. Praise Master Jesus. Name Levi. City at the reset, the seat of custom. This man was a secretary, a task collector. This man was making money. Then, and uh, he said unto him, Follow me. One mouth, no catch, not too much preaching. Just look at where we started today. No, just 27. Follow me. Follow me, and he left all. I love this. And he left all. He left the money. He left the position. He left whatever man used to call him, and rose up and follow him. Sister, rise up this morning and follow Christ. Amen. Brother, leave that sheep alone and follow Jesus. 
Apostle Manuel have risen again this morning. Apostle yeah. Manuel have risen again to follow Christ in another special dimension, in full identification, Amen. in total and full commitment. I don't know about yeah. you. I believe in any way the Lord deal with me, He wants me to use it to preach to the people. Amen. So he rose up, rise up from that pleasure of sin, brother. These people were not sinning. These people were doing legitimate business. Legitimate business that will give them life. But yet, they left it. Some of us are doing even illegitimate business. Some of us are doing illegal business. The Lord is still telling you, leave that illegal business and follow me. You are saying no. But these are men who are doing the right thing. But they saw something better than what they were doing. And they rose up and followed him. Praise Amen. Master Jesus. And the Lord is telling me and you this morning, rise up and walk. If you are not following Christ Jesus, you are a cripple. You are an imbecile. You are sleeping. You are dead. Whoever is living and not working for Christ, you are dead like a dead man. And if care is not taken, if care is not taken, if you actually close your eyes and die at that stage, you are wasted forever. So therefore, he that hear this voice this morning, no matter what you are doing, and you are not working for Jesus Christ. Or maybe you are working for Christ. You are complaining. A complainer is as good as the one that's not working. For you to be working and complaining, you are as good as an idle man who is not working. The Lord even loved that one who is not even working yet. Now you that's working and complaining. I repented this morning. He said I was complaining, but to me, I said I was praying. To me, I was praying. To me, I was demanding. But to he that, that called me, told me, my son, you were complaining to my ear. I don't want to hear it again. How many of us are on this mountain? You are working for the Lord, but yet you are complaining. Complaining is not allowed in heaven. What is in heaven is complicity, comply. Comply with instruction and keep doing it without complaining. The Bible told us in Galatians chapter 2, 20, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I. Sister, as long you are called of God, as long as you are working for the Lord, you are not the one living again. He is the Amen. one living in you. So whatever he decides to use it for, he's free to use it to do whatever he decides to use it for. Now, Amen. not I, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and did what? And gave himself for me. Sister, there's nothing you will do for Christ today that is as what he has done for you before. There's not a amount of work you will work for him compared to what he did for you. Even if you died now for his work, it's not to be compared to what he did for you. Nothing I will ever do again. And I say, yes, I've done so much. So much so. Nothing to be compared to he that gave you the life you are living. Amen. Live the life for him. Do everything for him. He said, the life I am now living now is not mine anymore. It's of the one that gave me the life. Who died to give me the life I'm living now. Amen. So therefore, let us do everything to please him that gave us the life we are living. None till you have now, sister, charity that will not give it to you by he that died for you. Amen. That thing you are saying you will die for, that thing will not allow you to serve God. He gave it to you. 
Use that thing to serve him. And that does everything for him. Praise Master Jesus. First John Amen. chapter Amen. 6. Rather, first John chapter 2 verse 6. Say, he, he that said he abided in him ought himself also to walk even as he walked. He that said, I am a Christian, live as he that you are identified with. Christ left everything in heaven and come and die for you. He dropped his crown. He dropped his throne. He dropped everything. He dropped pride. He came on earth, this civil earth, to live as a man. So not just as a man, as a man man. As a slave all his life. He lived his life as a servant all through his life on earth here. So if we also say we are identified with him, we should live that way. Live the way he lived. Amen. Walk the way he worked. He sacrificed Amen. everything. To the point that he even sacrificed life for me and you. What have you Amen. done for him that you are boasting of? That you are coping up. What have you done? What have I done? What have we done? Nothing. Nothing. What are we glorying for? What are what are we? What, what is that thing that I have done? You say, Lord, I have done enough. Nothing. If we must have the praise of Him, we must live the way He lived. He did everything for His Father. He used his life to praise his father. And today, I love Apostle Paul so much. Apostle Paul lived the way Christ lived. He left everything. And today, he's being glorified. If Apostle Emmanuel must be glorified tomorrow, he must leave everything today. Amen. He must sacrifice everything today. Those people Amen. left their father. They left their sheep. They left their wealth. And they followed Christ. But today, I'm telling you, Join the whole world together, the pillar in their house in heaven. Nothing can be compared to it. Amen. If you must attain to that level, you must be ready to sacrifice everything. Colossians, Colossians 3 1 to 4. If you dare be risen with Christ, if you dare be in Christ, seek those things which are above. Where Christ seated on the right hand of God. Two, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth, not euro and pounds. How much you want to sell your soul for? How much that you are not you are, you are trying to provoke God into anger? Don't you know God loves you so much? Any word you say, anything he hears. All that I complain, you will not hear them. Any word you say, sister. That's why we must be very careful of what you are saying. Even though you are not praying, what you are speaking in your heart is, is as loud as thunder in his ears because he cares about you. Because he loves you so much. So we must be very careful the way we think, the way we act, the way we say things. Set your affection on things above, not on things on earth, not the mass blockade. Not close. Because one day, Sir Charity will close our eyes and leave them. You did not bring them here. It is certain you are not going with them. So why should you die for them? Things you are not going, things are not falling to eternity. Why would you die for them? Making money. How, 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 how many years do we have to live on eight years? If you stay too much, 100 years, nonsense. 100 years is like yesterday. Think of your past years now. Some of us have lived 40 years now. It's as just yesterday. Eight years to come. That's how you'll be looking at it. Just yesterday. So why would you die for things of this world? Look at it above. Where you will spend eternity. Three. For ye are dead. And your life is hid with Christ in God. For when Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall you, our day to also with glory appear with him. Sister, Amen. brother, we will appear with him in glory. 
if we can identify with him now in shame. Let men mock us. Let us say this one does not know nothing. I remember those days when I started newly in this, uh, this ministry. That time my house was full. Everywhere was full. One man at the time, he said, he's, he's, he's also a, a, a pastor, who tell me, hey, some people have anointing, but they don't know how to use to make money. Or just look, look at it. Hey, some people are so anointed. Some people, so the, the, the power of it is there, but they, they, they are foolish. He will say to my ear, face to face, they don't know how to use to make money. One day I say, my brother, hmm. My own is not a not it's not a money making venture. Amen. I understand exactly what you are saying. I'm not a fool. You'll be saying it, I'll be keeping quiet. Please, will you stop? Would you stop? Don't say those words in my ears again. Amen. I know of a pastor. The pastor was so and uh, so and uh, so anointed, but he was foolish. He, don't, he never knew how to make money with it. With it, with it. Say, my brother, stop it. Since that day, everything cut off. Let them go. That's right. And let Christ stay with you. That Amen. mind that is telling you nonsense, let that man die. Because that mind is there to take you to hell. Don't follow mm -hmm. him. Say to yourself, you this, mind, you this mind, I will not follow you to hell. i rather mm -hmm. comply with God. i rather Face humiliation. I'd rather be hungry. I'd rather be humiliated than to enjoy the pleasure of sin. If it pleases him, let him do it. Do it. If, if it pleases him, let him do it the way he wants to do it. It's not your business. You and I, we have to walk. He is to pay us. In due time, he said, no man has ever lived his father and his mother that will not get my reward or eight here and in heaven. Said the Bible, yes. you will know it is true. Your own is to live everything. And his own is to give you everything. Hallelujah. Amen. Your own is to live everything. And his own is to give you everything. Amen. I love you. I love Jesus. First John 3, 16. First John chapter 3, verse 16. Say, hereby perceive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us. He laid down his life for us. So what do we do? And we ought, we ought to lay down our life for the brethren that we may also win them. He laid his life to win us to God. You and I also have to lay down our life to win our brethren to him also. Amen. Without complaining. Let us do everything to please him. Not to please Amen. ourselves. Not to think uh, this person will give me something. No. If you please him, let him do it. But if not, keep working. Because our goal is to make heaven. Let us lay our life Amen. down to the sheep the Lord has brought to us. It's what I've learned Amen. today. I've tried to do it before, but I felt I have not been doing so well. We are to lay our life for those that the Lord has brought to us. So on the last day, we have our crown. And I believe Amen. the Lord will give us the grace to do so in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Romans 12, verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. This is what the Lord wants us to do. Total holiness. Total identification. The Lord is saying, we all must present our body a living and holy sacrifice unto him if we must get his reward on the last day. Praise Amen. Master Jesus. And I pray Hallelujah. the Lord give us the grace 
to do so in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Brethren, I have more time in this, in this uh, eternity, but there's a time we will, not, we will not be looking at time again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We get to read Philippians chapter 1, verse 20 to 21, Ephesians 4, 2 to 3, Philippians 1, 20 to 21. Ephesians 4, 2, 1 to 3. And uh, I read um, John chapter 15, verse 20. John 15, verse 20. It says, Remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will also keep, keep your saying. So, don't try to write more than your master. He suffered. We must also suffer for him. They beat him. They humiliated him. The same thing will also happen to us. And today, he's been glorified. In no distant time, we will also be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ephesians 5, verse 2. And walk in love, as Christ also had loved us, and had given himself for us and off as an offering, and sacrifice to God for a sweet smelly savor. Let us love one another and give ourselves for service for each other. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. Be confident of this very thing. I love you so much. Be confident of this very thing that he which has begun a good work in you, in me, we perform it until the day of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He has Amen. started with you. He will never abandon you in the name of Jesus Christ. So please, Amen. be courageous. Be strong. No matter what you're going through, it's what you... I never knew, though I knew before, but they make me to know that my Lord and Savior is watching me closely. It's watching me closely. And I believe it's also watching you closely. Be careful of what you are saying. We are not allowed to complain. We are not allowed. It's not allowed at all. And I pray every spirit of complaining, murmuring, die today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I love what John the Baptist says here. In John 3, verse 30, he says, He must increase, but I must decrease. Amen. Let Christ increase every day and let you and I decrease every day. Let Amen. Christ be praised. Even though we perish as in flesh perish, our soul we yet live. Jesus Amen. must increase in our lives and we Amen. must decrease for his name to be glorified. Brethren, Amen. this is what my father told me this morning and I felt I should also tell you, so that you will also learn. May the Lord bless his word in our hearts this morning, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Are you out there? You are not born again. Please give your life to Christ Jesus, because the life you are living is a wasted life without him. Say after me, if you are ready to do so. Say, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word this morning. I realized I was perishing without you. But I have decided to give my life to you this morning. I confess my sin to you. I have been a sinner. Have mercy on me. Wash me clean with your blood. Take my name away from the book of death. And write it in the book of life. I accept you today, Lord. Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. I am born again today. All things have passed away and all things have become new. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for bringing this word my way. Thank you, Daddy, for saving my soul. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you are there, you have this declaration. I am happy with you. 
and I pray the Lord will strengthen you, empower you. It's not an easy journey, but Lord will make it easy for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. On the last day, you will enjoy what you have done today, and you will never look back again to your vomit in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is my earnest prayer that this word will not be used against me, nor against you. Amen. On the last day, rather, Amen. it will make us to be stronger and to make heaven on the last day in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Pastor Graham. Over to you, sir. God bless you, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord.